So excuse my appearance because I literally just woke up. Well, got out of bed. I woke up like an hour ago, but I didn't get out of bed till just now and it's 10 o'clock. Really bad, really bad. Is there anything else? No. Um, and I'm gonna make myself some breakfast and some coffee. Um, I've been kind of really bad lately about going and buying coffee like at Starbucks instead of just doing my own coffee at home. Oh my God, this lighting is so bad. I'm so shiny because I just did my skincare routine for the morning. Um, so I'm gonna make myself some, like, some coffee. I have a ton of cleaning to do today. I have like dishes to do, laundry to do, bathrooms to clean, and then I need to edit my fall home decor video that's gonna go up this week and my Disney haul. And I'm gonna be watching, these are my goals for the day by the way. I'm gonna be watching Disney classics, like 101 Dalmatians is on my list to watch today. I watched Edward Scissorhands last night and you guys, I pretty much get teary eyed every time I watch Edward Scissorhands. Anyone else? Like at the very, towards the very end, um, like I love when she's dancing in the snow, like from the ice sculpture, you know? I love um, when she's hugging him and he remembers when his, his creator, his I call him his father, but like the guy that created him um, is going to give him hands like as his Christmas present. If you haven't seen Edward Scissorhand, don't listen to this part. And he ends up passing away. Oh my gosh, that part kills me every time. <laughs> Just thinking about it like makes my heart hurt so bad. Oh my goodness. I know it's not real, but... <laughs> It feels real. And then just like the end scene when she has to like leave him there. Oh my gosh, so good. I love Edward Scissorhands and I love Tim Burton. I really do. I love all his movies. Most his movies. Um, makes me want to watch Sweeney Todd now too. We'll see. Anyways, I'm rambling. Let's make some coffee. You know, I got an espresso this year and I absolutely love it so much more than my regular Keurig. Um, so here's where I put all my little pods for coffee and espresso. These bigger ones are for coffee. Do I want a big thing of coffee today? I might. I put an espresso one in first. I really like these ones. These are the Volteso. I'm still kind of getting used to what is what. Eh, I'll do one of these bigger ones. All right. All right, that's a Bruin. Do you like my mug? I got this at Target a few years ago. Espresso, your love. So cute. Okay, then we're gonna foam up some of my creamer instead of milk. I'm using this Pumpkin Spice Natural Bliss. It's pretty good, I really like it. There goes my coffee. This is the one I was using and it's all gone. Um, the Almond Milk Creamer in Caramel. And I really liked this. Um, they didn't have, I don't think they have an almond version of this one. So it is not dairy free. All right, I just do, I mean, I don't like a lot. We're just probably gonna do, do that much since it's, if I do espresso, then I do barely any because then it's overly sweet. All right, there she goes. All right, look at this foamy goodness. Oh yeah. Usually, since I don't have both hands, usually I will pour this in first. And then do the foam. At the very top, of course. Yum. Myself an English muffin. I had a little bit of regular cream cheese left and then I used my pumpkin cream cheese for the rest. And my coffee. I'm gonna go relax and watch some 101 Dalmatians before I start doing some editing and cleaning. For my lunch today, I'm having some albacore tuna that was in water. I put a tablespoon of mayonnaise in it and I'm having it with some carrots, these baby cut carrots. Um, just to save some calories, I like, if I've had carbs in the morning, I try not to have carbs at my lunch time. I try to kind of limit it during the day if I have it in the morning. Um, and vice versa, like if I have a smoothie or fruit in the morning, then I allow myself to have carbs at lunch. So yeah, I just thought I'd share with you guys what I'm eating Photographing today. the Too Faced Sweet Peach Collection. And this seriously is the most beautiful makeup product ever. I can't stop photographing it. It's so beautiful. And that is in um, 
spray overlay that gold that you're seeing so I want to take so many pictures of it before I wipe it off but it's the sweetie pie from them oh, I swear just all of this is so photographable all their new products are just the packaging is to die for all right guys so I decided to play around with my makeup and try out the peach the new sweet peach stuff um obviously don't pay attention to my application too much because i really was just playing and wasn't really you know trying to make it perfect and i didn't really do my eyeshadow i just used one shade in the crease which was sweet was it peaches and cream um i'll show you in a second so i had the foundation on in snow which also is not that light. So if you're really pale complected, I don't know if there will be a perfect shade for you in the Peach Perfect Foundation. So this claims to be a matte foundation, but as you can see, I have a decent amount of glow. I mean, I have a highlight on. I also used this Peach Blur, which I feel has a bit of a glow as well. I put that all over my skin. I don't mind how it's making my skin look. I will say that it's definitely not full coverage. Um... You can kind of you can see my skin kind of coming through still. Um, so if you're trying to hide a lot of like imperfections, I wouldn't say this is the foundation for you. But let me just say everything smells so divine, like peachy goodness. I love it. A, 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 like the application of all these products, it's just like heaven for me because I love that scent. But if you don't like that scent, you will hate this, of course. Um, so the foundation went on really nicely, though. I feel like it matched really well. It blended in easily. I didn't have any issue with it. I just don't think that there's much coverage, and I would definitely need to use, like, a higher coverage powder with this if I was to use it. Like, when I use it again, that's probably what I'll do to give me a little more coverage. But I do like how lightweight it is, and we'll see how it wears as well. Um, the lip that I have on is the darker of the two nudes that they sent me, which is in... Sunday fun day, which is funny because it's actually Sunday right now when I'm filming this. And then I did end up using the bronzer um, in bronzed peach. And these are more of like a cream product. I think it's supposed to be maybe cream to powder, but it's more like a cream. Like when you apply it, it feels more like a cream. And then I have the highlight on and this is in happy face. I use this as a base, but then I did go in with the Ofra Cosmetics, and that's why it's popping, that highlight. <laughs> it's really mostly this, this highlight in Glow Goals. Um, I don't really, I used my finger to apply this because it also is a cream, and it was pretty, but I don't think it's like, wow, so beautiful that this I definitely think you can skip out on. The bronzer, um, I like the coloring of it, but it's a cream bronzer, and I just don't usually use cream bronzer that often, so it's not something I'll probably reach for a lot, but if you like cream bronzer, it is nice. And then the blush um, is very pigmented. As you can see, I think I went maybe a little too heavy-handed with it. Um, very, very light application with this. It is like that creamy formulation. It's in So Peachy is the shade of this one. And I do like the color. I do like it how, how it applied as a cream blush. Um, but yeah, it's way more pigmented than I thought it was gonna be. Did I mention that this is Glow, Glow Goals is the color for Ofra? And then, like I said, I did apply Peach Blur all over my skin as kind of like a setting powder because that's what it's supposed to be for, but I think that's maybe what's giving me the extra glow. So maybe I would just stick with the Peach Perfect for mattifying more because I do have naturally kind of um, oily, normal to oily skin, so um, that does make a difference. My brows, I also tried out a new product, not from Too Faced, from L'Oreal. Um, I think this color... Might be a little too dark for me, I don't know, but it's the only option for a brunette for me because there's a darker option and then a blonde. So this one is the brunette. And it's like a slanted applicator, let me show you. It's like one of those like teardrop kind of slanted applicators. Has a spoolie on the end. Um, it applied really nice. I didn't fill in the inside of my brows. I might be trying that out this week, we'll see. Usually I fill those in still like and kind of really blend it out. But maybe this week I'll just leave them alone because I kind of like it. But okay, so that's everything on my face, I think. Oh no, I used the peach mist as well. Um, I did shake it. Make sure to shake it because it does even say, shake me baby, on it. I don't really think this smells like peaches. I think it smells more like the coconut one. 
I think it smells just very similar to this one, which I love. The Hangover 3-in-1. I think they're pretty... I'm, I'm pretty certain they're the same thing, but maybe not. I don't know. Um, but so far, on first application, it seems exactly the same. And I'm okay with that because I absolutely love this. But we'll see if that's the case if it, like... I'm so shiny. I feel like I'm so glowy, but it might just be the highlighter. I don't know. I'm, I'm okay with it, but then I don't know if it'll last. So anyways, first impression. Those are my first impressions of everything I've tried so far. That was really quick application. By the way, I tried this like silicone applicator thing from e.l.f. I don't get it. I don't like it. Um, I'm going to try it with a different foundation, like a more full coverage foundation and see if that works for me. But I ended up resorting, this is so dirty right now, my Real Techniques, um, blending sponge, which I feel like I need to eliminate some of the shine. <laughs> okay. I'll talk to you guys later. So I just went grocery shopping real quick run. I got some garbanzo beans for my salads. They were on sale. I got some of my favorite Triscuits, the rosemary and olive oil. I got two packs of romaine lettuce because I love having salads for dinner during the week. I got some shredded cheese because I'm going to be making some grilled cheese sandwiches. And then I got some pumpkin spice bagels. I have never had the Thomas. I don't think I've had Thomas bagels. I don't know if I've had these before, but they sounded amazing. Some bananas, apples, two different kinds, and then a pepper for my salads as well. Morning guys, it's Tuesday. I'm obviously on my way to work. I have my hair up in a bun today, but I wanted to show you that I'm wearing like all the peach products again today. And I definitely think I'm liking the foundation more today than I did the first day I wore it because I used more. I layered, instead of doing one pump, I did two pumps and it's way more full coverage. So initially I said it wasn't full coverage, which it really isn't on first application but it does build up quite easily um so i am happy with that so i am wearing the eye palette today as well so i'll let you guys know what i think as i wear it all day but so far i do really like the finish and i was able to build up to the coverage that i like okay this lighting is quite intense but i wanted to share with you guys how my makeup looks at lunchtime so it's been about what four and a half hours and the foundation, everything, the eyeshadow is still looking really good and I didn't use a primer today. I'm really impressed by it. It's very like peachy. <laughs> I did um, touch up my lip though, but I just went to Walgreens um, for needs. <laughs> but then of course I got thing, like a couple of things that I didn't need. But then when I saw them, I couldn't pass them up because they're not an easy find. And that is the Mickey and Minnie Lip Smacker Tsum Tsum that are Halloween themed. And they had all of them, you guys. Look at this. Mickey's butt has little spider webs on it. And then Minnie's looks like this. So stinking cute. So I got those two and it looks like Minnie, what's her flavor? Sour Tricky Treat flavor. <laughs> so cute. And Mickey is Spooky Ookie S'mores. And then I did get one of the villains because they had like so many of the different villains too. But Maleficent is my favorite villain of all time from Disney. So I had to get her. And she is Blackberry Magic is her flavor of these lip balms. Oh my gosh, look at the back. It has like her dress. That is so cool. But they also had Ursula, they had Cruella, they had Little Mermaid, like Ariel. They had a lot. They had a lot of them. And they had like a ton of Jack and Sally, like Nightmare Before Christmas stuff too. I had to resist. But these, like, I kind of, I don't really collect these, but I kind of do. I have a ton of them and I really love them. Anyways, then I also got something naughty. Don't judge me. <laughs> I got, anyone love these? They're wa the watermelon flavor. I resisted all the chocolate, but then I got sour watermelon. Like, what is wrong with me? I'm gonna have a healthy lunch right now. I'm about to go get um, a bistro box at Starbucks. You know, the protein box as an egg, grapes, I think peanut butter and something else. They're really, really good. I'll show you it when I get it. And I'm gonna get some coffee because 
I have been half asleep all day. I have a huge salad here. I have chickpeas, red bell peppers, avocado, um, green olives, and then just a bunch of lettuce. And then I just put a little bit of ranch. I haven't swirled it all together yet, and a little bit of seasoning. And then I'm gonna be eating some of these Morning Star Farms a buffalo wings. They're veggie, they're vegetarian. They're so, so good. I love these. I actually really love Morning Star products. If you're vegetarian or you're thinking about going vegetarian, they have really good products, and I love these. Um, I used to eat them a lot when I was a full blown vegetarian years ago. But this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put them in my salad, and they're gonna be so good. You guys, this is my new favorite flavor of Halo Top. Chocolate Almond Crunch. It's so good, beyond good. But you have to like almond because it has a very strong almond taste, but I love almond everything. Um, so yeah, I thought this was amazing. If you're not aware, Halo Top ice cream is a little bit better for you because it contains a lot more protein and it has less calories and it has um, better ingredients, gluten-free, um, all natural, no artificial sweeteners, no corn syrup, vegetarian friendly, no synthetic growth hormones. It's just really good. However, it is very expensive. For a pint like this, it's about $5 when you could get like a half of a gallon of ice cream for $5. But for me, it's worth it because I don't eat ice cream that often. And when I do... I know that I don't feel as guilty eating this, but anyways, I just thought I'd let you know I love this flavor. Okay, excuse the lighting because I'm just using my lamp next to me. Um, I just got home from work. I did like this cute little braid today, but my hair is super like frizzy and horrible now. Um, I just wanted to show you guys. This is how my foundation looks after wearing it all day. And I don't think it looks too bad. On my chin, you can see see right here, it has worn off just a little bit. But that's, do you see how I like touch, I do this a lot, which is bad, I know. But that's why my foundation can sometimes wear off right here. So I'm not faulting the foundation on that. Um, usually how I test how the wear is, and this also doesn't count because I my sunglasses took the foundation off right there. But like on the center of my nose and around my nose here is how I test like if a foundation wore off on me. Do I think this is the best foundation that's, you know, been on my face that, do I think it looks the best out of all my foundations I've used? No, but I do enjoy it. Oh, I didn't even tell you what it is. It's the Too Faced, the new peach foundation. Um, it doesn't oxidize on me. However, it does lean very yellow. Just They blend beautifully. They are a bit messy and powdery. So if that irritates you, then don't get it. Um, otherwise, I'm really enjoying it. I have my little rose gold studs on from Henry Bendel. I haven't shopped at Henry Bendel or looked on their website in forever. Not that I need to. I really don't. Um, what else did I want to tell you? This is a Bite Beauty. They're like liquid lip things in Eclair. It's, this is how it looks when it wears away. It kind of stains your lips. Anyways, I need to make my salad right now, but I literally jumped so high with excitement. Like I literally almost cried about my period though. So like I'm extra sensitive <laughs> this week, but um, I got an amazing package that is so magical and it's so Christmassy. I'm like literally going to cry, you guys. Like I can't, I'm going to show you right now. But honestly, I wasn't sure if I was going to receive it. I did see other YouTubers receiving it and I was kind of bummed, but I was like, you know what? It is what it is. You know, I try not to get too hung up on what I do and don't receive because you can drive yourself absolutely bonkers if you... If you do that to yourself as a YouTuber, I mean, not everyone can relate to that, obviously, but you start like comparing yourself to people do it in general. Like you compare yourself to other people. Um, you compare yourself at work. You compare yourself in a lots of different aspects in life. And sometimes it's hard not to compare yourself to other people when you're doing such a very, a job that is very focused. This is not a job. It's my hobby, but 
um, a job that's very focused on like appearance and who has more subscribers and things like that. And I really try not to do that, not to compare myself. Um, but when it comes to like product being sent to certain people and some maybe not me or not someone else, it's, it's so hard not to. But it's not about getting sent product. I hope you guys know that. It's just about feeling like, wow, a brand wants to send me something because they enjoy the content I make. They enjoy the photography I do on Instagram or they enjoy what I put out there and they want to give these products to me so that I can share them with you guys on my channel. That is so exciting and makes me feel so blessed. I just hope you guys know that I never take that for grant granted. Like literally, I'm gonna cry. I never take that for granted. Like it is the most incredible feeling to know that a brand wants to send you something because they appreciate, you know, your work. At least I take it like that. Some people are gonna be like, they just send it to you so you'll give them free promotion. Yeah, you can see it in that sense as well, I guess. But you know, we're not guaranteed gonna give them promotion. And segue into me showing the product. <laughs> but it's really, really pretty, so I really wanna show you. See what I mean, you guys? It's so beautiful. Just the box itself, you know, has that like frozen icicle look to it, right? And this is like metallic silver. And then you open it. And they have the two models, very beautiful models. And they have the information here. Look at that, it's so pretty. Uh, so there's an eye lights palette, and then there's a face palette. Look at this packaging, it's so beautiful. So let me open them up and show you. how stunning. So this is more of like a gold color. And do you see how this is like a bluey, blue silver shade? So this is the face palette. Hold on. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So here are those. This is a blush, highlights. Oh, look at those beautiful colors. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me with that color right there? I'm trying. Oh! Trying to do this one-handed and I don't want to hurt anything. There we go. They're so beautiful. Thank you so much, Becca. I can't wait to try these for you guys, but I'm not gonna, I'm just not going to um, put my finger in the product right now because I want to take pictures first, but they're so pretty. Mama Bee is the best. She dropped off some Chinese food for me. And I just got home and it's about 6.30 and I'm so happy I don't have to cook tonight. <laughs> she got me shrimp lo mein. See the yummy shrimp right there and there? Oh yeah, this will be like two to three meals for sure. So that makes it even better. So it's Friday the 13th, which does not scare me whatsoever because I love the number 13. 13 is lucky in my family. Threes and ones are lucky for my family. So Friday the 13th is just another day and I love it. I love the 13th. So I just got what I'm wearing in the mail from my friend who sent sells or sells. I was gonna say sells, but she used to sell LuLaRoe. And I forget what this piece is called. Maybe I'll try and link it down below, but it's like the really long loungy dress kind of thing. And this is from the Disney collection. I'm not trying to show you my boob. I'm just trying to show you that kind of, kind of has like an aztec -y pattern on it. And then it has like Mickey faces in certain places. I'm trying to see if there's another one. There's another one right there. There's another one right there. And there's a pocket. And it is so comfortable, you guys. I love it so much. You're gonna be seeing me that you're going to be seeing me in this. Why can't I speak? Um, a lot probably when I'm lounging around the house, especially. This is like a good grocery store kind of outfit or just lounging around the house. I, it's not something I would wear to work or really out, um, but I like it a lot. And it'd be cute for Disney, it would be. With boots, with really cute boots. I might wear this. No, it's not Christmassy enough. I'm going in November to Disney. 
um, and also to visit my good, my best friend and her baby for the, her first birthday. Um, but I think I want to wear something more Christmassy to the parks than this. This is more like fall. I wish I had had this for the parks when I went in September. But today's Friday. Can you tell I'm like so happy because I'm off of work? That's why I'm so happy. I really wanted to go to the fair tonight, but even though it seems like I'm a ball full of energy right now, just because I'm in a good mood, but I was just like, after 10 hours of work, I was like, do I really want to walk around the fair all night right now? I mean, I probably would have been fine if I had some coffee, but I think I'm gonna go next Friday because to the state fair, if I can find someone that also has off on Friday, um, because I have four tens and we get off different days every week um, for the extra day, and I'm gonna be off um, next Friday. And I thought that'd be fun to go to the fair next Friday. You guys are gonna laugh at me, <laughs> but I'm doing something that I never do. I was full on comfy mode, sitting on the sofa watching YouTube videos, responding to comments, reading all your guys' comments from the video today, and my friend texted me and was like, hey, come meet us at this place. What did, oh, he just texted me alone. Whatever. Um, so he's, he's like, come meet us at this place. It's Friday night, it's like 9.30, I'm like, what am I doing with myself? Like, I'm not hashtag old lady status. Like, I don't need to be sitting on the sofa doing nothing on Friday night. So usually if I'm already in comfy mode, there's no way you're getting my butt going somewhere. But look at me, I am fully dressed, ready to go, minus my shoes. And my lip combo is the Kim Kardashian and Kylie collab. I love these lips. They're definitely gonna be in my 2017 favorite list. I love them to pieces. This is in Kim. And then I have the gloss on from Kevin Aquan in rose gold. All right, I might vlog while I'm there, I might not. This outfit I wore for my birthday this year, this is the second time I've worn this. This is from Charlotte Russe, Charlotte Russe. Um, the leggings are from Victoria's Secret. And earrings are from Kate Spade. All right, I'm getting out of here. So I'm not gonna do a ton of unboxings this week, but I did wanna show you guys my BoxyCharm for this month because if you are not getting BoxyCharm, I really feel like you're missing out. It's the only subscription service I feel like is a really, really, really great deal. This box this month is $140 value. As you can see, they're all full size. You get the Dr. or I got, I should say, the Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion Perfecting Exfoliator. The reason I say I got is I believe sometimes like some of the products are a little different in each box, but they're all full size. And then this is a lip liner from Jante Blue in Spice. Beautiful, perfect shade for fall. Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. Full size highlight, you guys, from Becca in Prosecco Pop. Dirty Little Secret. This is a um, eye crayon. I have it swatched right here. It's in the shade Illusion. It's that rose gold looking one right there. Look at how beautiful. And then this Tardis lip paint in the shade Salty, I have swatched right there as well. And I love these. Um, they're really comfortable matte liquid lipsticks. And look how pretty the packaging is too. And then I will show you Prosecco Pop. However, I do own this highlight in a palette from the Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, so I am not going to swatch this because I would like to be able to gift it to someone. But just a moment, I'm going to open this. Just take a second to take that in. Holy moly. Stunning. So if you guys are interested, I will leave a link down below. I do have like an affiliate link with them, but I wouldn't tell you to go out and get it if I didn't really think that it was awesome. I mean, this kind of speaks for itself. This is not just for an influencer that, I, that you get full-size products like this. Everyone does. So I do think it's a really great deal. Anyways, I wanted to show you one more thing that I had purchased 
kind of a while back. I think these were only $5. I got it off like a sale site. And these are Apple watch bands because I can change mine out. And it came in all kinds of different ones. There was mint glitter, there was a gold, but I thought this silver would be perfect for the holidays. And yeah, I just love it. You guys know I love my bling bling and glitter. So I thought this watch band was super cute. And I think it would be really cute as gifts too for like stocking stuffers. I know it's only October, but really, I start thinking about shopping and everything right now because I just like to not feel stressed out on the holidays. I like to enjoy my holiday and sometimes shopping can be very stressful. So anyways, I thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, last thing, I've been doing Ellie Box, which is like a active wear subscription box. And this is the second time I've gotten a few pieces from them. And I really am impressed with the quality. Again, I'll link them down below if you're curious about it. Um, this month though, I was really shocked at the amount, like the value. Um, this is from Chill Tech, which means it keeps you warm inside but wicks the sweat out. And this is a gorgeous workout jacket, don't you think? I love the crisp, the like slanted zipper, the, all the detail here. And then it's like super soft inside. And then on the sides, it has this gray coloring. I love it. And then it came with a top. And there's like mesh sides here. And then also in the back, down the back like that on the top. And it does have like a cutout on the back too, on both sides. So cute. So this whole outfit goes together. When they send you an outfit every month, it all goes together. So you can look super cute at the gym. And then look at these pants. I love them. Don't you love that? <laughs> They're so soft. And the inside of these pants too is that same kind of really soft, soft material. So if you live in a, like a really colder climate and fall is actually cold for you, these are so perfect because you could actually exercise outside and not feel super cold when you sweat. Cause you know, you just feel when you're sweating and it's cold outside, it's, you feel freezing. So that's why these are awesome. Cause it has that like really soft warmth inside. Oh my goodness, you guys, look how beautiful this is on. My um, watch is off right now, <laughs> AKA it died because I didn't charge it. <laughs> but oh my gosh, I love it. I definitely need to get the mint one and the rose gold one because I want to wear this all the time. It's so beautiful. And I don't even mind that much. See how the, it's silver instead of rose gold, but I don't mind mixed metals, so that's not a big deal to me. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. So perfect for the holidays, you guys. If you have an Apple Watch, you need one of these for the holidays. I'll try and link it down below if it's still available on the sale website. Um, I'll have it down below. Guys, I'm wearing it right now, and I love it. I love this jacket. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. Let me try and show you it. Zip, I can't do it one-handed. But when you zip it all the way up, it like slants a little and it looks so cute like this. Oh my gosh, I love it. And it's so soft in the inside. Do you see that? It's like that plush softness. And then let me unzip it so you guys can see the shirt with the mesh on the sides. Had to share with you guys my second yummy salad of the week. Um, I used lettuce, a very small sprinkle of cheese, my Mexican four cheese blend. Um, probably about, I'd say half a cup of chickpeas. Maybe about five or six of these olives. And then I have my buffalo chicken, veggie chicken. Um, same one I showed you earlier in the week. And then I have some more red bell pepper in there. I think that's it. I can't wait to eat this. I'm so hungry. 
All right, guys, I'm gonna leave you now. Thank you so much for watching the vlog. I think it was a really long one this week to make up for the really short one last week. So I hope you enjoyed. So I will see you next week. Please give this a thumbs up if you liked the video, if you love watching my vlogs every week. I really appreciate you guys coming back and watching. Please subscribe if you're new to my channel and also a big hello to all my new subscribers that came from Candace's channel. Thank you so much for subscribing and sticking around. I really hope that you enjoy my content and continue to watch and I will see you guys again later this week.